to our respected sisters, teachers and all my dear Carmelites. Today, we all are gathered here on such a special day to celebrate Carmel Feast. The main objective of celebrating Carmel Feast is to give thanks to Mother Mary. Let us consider holy to light the ceremonial lamp before starting the day. So here we call upon Sister Jyoti, the superior of the school, Sister Devashri, principal of English medium, Sister Helen, coordinator of pre-primary section, Sister Joyce Kullu, principal of Hindi medium, and Sister Mary Jane, coordinator of Mother Veronica Literacy Center and Carmel Community, to come up for lighting of the On such an auspicious day, it is must to remember the Lord, our Creator, and ask Him for His blessings. So let us remember the Lord with a prayer. O most beautiful flower of Mount Carmel, fruitful vine, splendor of heaven, blessed mother of the Son of God, immaculate virgin, assist me in my necessity. O star of the sea, help me and show me, herein you are my mother. O holy Mary, mother of God, queen of heaven and earth. I humbly beseech you from the bottom of my heart to help me in this necessity. There are none that can withstand your power. O oh, show me, herein you are my mother. O oh, Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sweet mother, I place this cause in your hands. Amen. The holy books are meant for our protection, correction and direction. So let us start the day with Bible reading. A reading from the Holy Bible. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 36 Therefore, whether you eat or drink, or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Gita Sipat Tri Vidam Naka Shidam Varam Nashnam Atmana Kama Krodasta Dvastatana Detrayam Tyaje Arthat Kam Krodasthalo Yatim Prakarke Narke Dvarya Atma Konash Karne Vale Arthat Use Adhumati Mele Jane Vale from Amin. Translation In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the spacely merciful, all praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. The entirely merciful, the spacely merciful, sovereign of the day of recompense. It is you we worship and you we ask for help. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those upon whom you have bestowed favor, not of those who have evoked your anger or of those who are astray. Amen. If the man is the best creation of God, then music is the best creation of man. It not only touches the heart, but it is a wonderful force which can bring peace to our heart. So let us continue the day with a prayer song. Thank you Abhijit for such a lovely song. It is more important to be of pure intention than of perfect action. So let us continue the day with some intentions. Mother Mary, because you desire reconciliation and peace between humanity and God, you are able, through grace and the Holy Spirit, to bring the Lord of Peace into our world. Teach us to be the people of true peace. This we ask in your holy name. 
Mother Mary, in your youth you gave yourself completely to God. Teach us to live our faith in a way that will attract young people to your son. This we ask in your holy name. All holy, loving and compassionate God, we thank you for your loving, care and protection and creation and guidance over all. We come here today with all the faith, trust we muster in this pandemic. Please come to our aid. Mother Mary, by allowing God to be born through you, you have become the mother of whole human race. Teach us to love and support all families unconditionally. This we ask in your holy name. Thank you Sneashish, Dani Ankita, Swati and Sagar. By nature, dance is the expression of feelings, emotions and opinion through movement. So let us call Sneha for a prayer dance. In prayer. Thank you. Thank you, Sneha, for such a lovely dance. Put a smile on your face, praise on your lips, and hold on to your faith. So here we invite with them for the praise of Lady of Carmel, Mother Mary. Good morning, everybody. Today, on the occasion of Carmel Feast, I, Vigatam Chaudhary, is going to address a speech on the Lady of Mount Carmel. Mother Mary was actually called Maryam after the sister of Moses. She was born in Nazareth, a tiny Galilean town of about 1600 people. During the reign of Herod the Great, a violent puppet king propped up by Roman military. Mary spoke Aramaic with a Galilean accent, but she also had contact with a multilingual world. She heard Latin as it slipped from the tongues of Roman soldiers, Greek as it was heard in educated circles, and Hebrew. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, a virgin of Carmel, 
is the title given to the blessed mother Mary in her role as patroness of the Carmelite order. The first Carmelites were Christian Hermes living on the Mount Carmel in the Holy Land during the late 12th and early to mid 13th century. They built in the midst of their hermitages a chapel which they dedicated to the blessed mother Mary whom they conceived in our chivalric terms as the lady of the place. Our lady of Mount Carmel was adopted in the 19th century as the patron saint of chief. Since the 15th century, popular devotion to our lady of Mount Carmel has centered on the scapular known as the brown scapular. Traditionally, Mother Mary is said to have given the scapular to an early Carmelite saint named Simon Stock. The liturgical feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel is celebrated on July 16. Mother Mary has been venerated since early Christianity and is considered by millions to be the holiest and the greatest saint because of her extraordinary virtues. She was also given the title of Theotokos, which was known as Mother of God. and class 9. Now we welcome class 9 with their dance performance.
class 9 for your wonderful performance. So, let us welcome Piyush to read the contribution of Carmel in the field of education. Today, on this holy occasion of Carmel Feast, I, Piyush Ranjan of Standard 11, is going to impart our school history, its vision, motto, goal and core values and also about the Apostolic Carmel dedication to women's education. Established on 7th January 1955, Carmel School, Bokaro Tharwal, is an English medium co-educational school managed by the Sisters of Apostolic Carmel Congregation, the vision of our school. Inspired by the founders Mother Veronica and urged on by Mother Mary des Angels, the first superior general, we shall keep looking ahead with a clear vision for the future, with a for standards for excellence in the educational and social apostolate, for a holistic development of the students which shall enable them to face challenges of tomorrow, the mission of our school, instill life promoting the values through moral education, faith formation with emphasis on nourishing and depth and deepening their faith in God, relentless search for truth and justice, love their neighbor irrespective of caste or creed and respect the rights of every individual, be willing to forgive and forget the wrong done to them, be committed to selfless service of the economically, psychologically and spiritually deprived especially women. The objective of our school, light leads to wisdom, is the motto of Carmel School, Bokaro Thermal. The school aims at the integral development of the whole person, enlightened leadership, social responsibility and commitment to nation building. Core values of our school, a deep faith in God, honesty, dignity of labor, hard work, respect for life and creation and the empowerment of the marginalized. The focus of the Carmel School is to serve Christ and his people. The spirit of education for women was left itself from the time of the formation of the congregation by Mother Veronica. It was the Apostolic Carmel first who established the Women's College, St. Angus College in 1921. To this day, the Apostolic Carmel tries to fulfill the purpose of its existence through formal and non-formal education of youth. In its various colleges, regular schools and schools for the handicapped, teachers and its training centers, women's welfare centers, prison and health ministry, etc. The Apostolic Carmel aims in developing the student entrusted to its care into committed people who should be left in their milia, putting love and meaning to human life and endeavor. Mother Veronica's work lives in sisters who serve God and people throughout the country. Brigham Young good articulated that if you educa educate a man, you educate a man, you educate a woman, you educate the whole generation. Thank you all. Thank you, Piyush Ranjan, for such an inspirational speech. Now, let us welcome the little daffodils of class 2 with their presentation. Mother of Karma, Mother of Love, Mother of Mercy, Mother of Grace. Mother most pure, Mother of good counsel, Mother of wisdom, Mother of Carmelites. Joyful hearts, we worship you. Pray to God for us. 
to walk in the path of goodness be our comforter in troubles dear mother of mount carmel mother of love mother of mercy mother of grace mother most pure mother of good counsel mother of wisdom mother of kamalas thank you little one for your presentation i really believe that everyone has a talent ability or skill that he can mind to support himself and to succeed in life i would like to welcome a budding talent of kamal good morning everyone I, Bhumi of class 9A, is here to present a short poem before you. The title of the poem is Don't Quit, written by John Greenleaf Whittam. When things go wrong as they sometimes will, when the road you are trudging seems all up the hill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, when you want to smile but you have to sigh, when care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must but don't quit. Life is strange with a twist and turns. as every one of us sometime learns and many a failure comes about when he might have won had he stuck it up don't give up though the pace seems slow you may succeed with another blow success is failure turned inside out in the silver tint of clouds of doubt and you never can tell how close you are it may be near when it seems so far so stuck to the fight when you are the hard I Tashmi Prabin of class 8A going to recite a short but amazing poem on Carmel feast. When I think of my school, I am reminded of Carmel more than school. Sisters more than principal. Etiquette more than manners. Tip to the uniform more than school uniform. General assemblies more than morning tea. Carmel feast more than functions. Vernacular law more than mother tongue. women empowerment more than feminism moments more than memories pain more than tears actually i am reminded of kamal more than everything now i would like to invite our honorable principal sister devashree and request her to motivate us with her inspiring words when we think of the flower we are always drawn naturally to its fragrance and color Carmel is such a flower that it has its own fragrance, color, size, and shape. It is this carmel that spreads the fragrance of God's love, care, concern, and the service to the people of all nationality, caste, creed, and religion with its unique identification in the society. It is my great pleasure and honor. to greet you on this beautiful day carmel feast day this day signifies the patroness of the school our lady of mount carmel she is the seat of wisdom to the wanderer who seeks knowledge she is the beacon of light to those search for truth she is the guide who seeks direction for their way of life carmel in its beauty In the mountain region of Israel, speaks of God's immense presence to all of us. Carmel stands for the values of unity, brotherhood, and diversity. The school has spread its fragrance of love through value-based education by transforming the little bars that come to our institute. I thank God for the wonders He has done. in keeping us all safe through this pandemic situation thank you for being part of us in imparting the values of karma on this day i thank god for the sisters of the apostolic karma congregation who with their selfless services have made a difference in the life of so many people here in bokaro and all over the world I wish you all a very happy feast of our lady of mount carmel and pray for the abundant blessings on all of us 
the mantle of our mother protect us from the dangers of the world and keep us all united in spirit. Once again, I wish you all a very happy family day. God bless us all. Remain safe. Thank you, sister, for such a lovely speech. Last but not the least, so I would like to call Angita to end the program with a closing prayer. Ram, we want to give honor to you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all the marvelous things you have given us on this earth. Thank you for your love that you have revealed on us. Thank you for your love and affection that you have showered upon us. May you bless each and every one who took the time to gather here on this auspicious day through virtual telecast. And let your hand of protection be on us through all the rest of our life. Bless each of us and keep us safe until we are able to gather again. For yours is the kingdom, the power and glory forever and ever. Amen.